on? Ooh, the mic's on. Hey, I got I got it right the first time. Yay! I'm proud of myself. Is, is this thing working? Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. Shh. No more echo. Let's do the posting really quick, and then we're out of here. What's going on, everybody? It's Mobius Y here on Stellaris Console Edition once again. Time of recording this Wednesday, May thirteenth. I do believe. I think maybe quite possibly. Uh, I don't really know. Anyways, let's mute my pooper. Okay. Anyways, um, sorry. Whew. Every time I actually get up and or walk around now, I need an extra breath. Ah, the damn. Anyways, um, all right. So I will open up the Twitch app on my phone so I can follow along in chat. I might have missed something. We're going back to the Grooty Collective, our uh, first stream game in 2.2, playing as a hive mind. Beautiful. Uh, why do I have a new alert on Twitch? Eh, whatever, don't care. Anyways, TTV Julo. TTV Julo. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Nothing, buddy. Just, uh, Doing an evening stream here on uh, Stellaris Console Edition since I don't have to work tomorrow. What did we do to deserve two days? Um, nothing. My boss laid me off. <laughs> did you have a good nap? Um, I actually didn't really take one. I just kind of sat and relaxed for a little bit. And I couldn't even doze off, which is strange. So I uh, went back to my kitchen table and played a solo game of uh, the Silver River, which is a board game that literally wound up on my doorstep uh, earlier today. Um, and I ordered it like a little over a month ago. It was it was fun. I think I need to like actually make friends or something and <clears throat> play with more people because the solo game was pretty easy. <laughs> um, you're supposed to well without really understanding what I'm talking about, there's two ways to win when you play in the solo game. You either de defeat a level 5 monster, or you acquire at least 35 victory points by the end of the game. And in my in the last, what's called age, so my last round of turns, I beat the level 5 monster, and then I did a bunch of other things, and then I tallied up how many victory points I actually got, and I had 64. <laughs> a solo board game. Yes, they exist, Razor. Um, it's w actually one of the small reasons why I picked this one up, um, because it does have a solo mode, and, um, it looked like a lot of fun, and it is pretty fun, I, I just still, still c gotta get the handle on it. Um, I totally forget what the hell we were doing, to be totally honest. Carol's Prime has unemployment problems, but that will be solved. Uh, housing issues? Yes, housing issues, of course. Um, anyways, um, I better do the sellout crap. Those of you watching this on YouTube in the future, my name is Mobius Y. Please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content. Ch also, check out the links in the description below, uh, my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of, and it would be great if more folks came by to watch me playing live. That would be fantastic. My Twitter feed, which is a great way to keep in touch with me. Uh, follow me there, and I'll post important announcements, such as if I, if I have to postpone or cancel a stream... Um, which I actually almost did today. And, uh, of course, the Discord channel, my own personal Discord channel, uh, where a bunch of my viewers are a part of. And um, there's a lot of activity now because everybody's trying to figure out how to, how to play in uh, version 2.2. <laughs> um, there is also an official Stellaris Discord, and I should uh, start providing links for that, I think. Um, but if you can't find it in any of the descriptions of my videos, then um, you can find them on any um, videos from Aspec. He's putting them in his um, Stellaris videos, even his Stellaris console videos. Um, plenty of people are bugging me about, hey man, I can't figure this crap out. Make the, make the videos on 2.2. I'm working on them. Don't worry. In the meantime, though, there's a few other people that are also outputting videos regarding... Uh, the overhaul to version 2.2 on the console edition. As I mentioned, Aspec, he's already got a few out by this time. 
And um, there's also uh, Ryantium, who is not only in my Discord, but he might even be watching right now. Send the unemployed po pops to build the wall. Exactly, Jeremy. Uh, how's it going, Elk? Um, and of course, there's also Black Sun Gaming, who plays on PS4. I'm sure he's going to be um, making videos as soon as possible as well. Alright, so how fast are, are our pops growing anyways? Holy crap, 6.99. We've got 10, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. We've got 133% population growth speed. <laughs> and none of it we seems to be from system. immigration. Okay, cool. Rare crystal mining. Um, what do we want now? Let's see. Improved strike. Alloy mega forges would be okay, but we need moats to to build and to um, maintain those. I could use the extra city district housing, but more minerals would be kind of nice as well. Let's get the deep core mining. Yeah, let's do that. Um, whew. If I'm coming through a little breathy, um, I don't know what the dealio is. I've got a weird kind of tightness in my chest and now my throat's getting a little bit sore. I don't have allergies or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe I got the Rona or some crap, but, uh, whew. <clears throat> it's not that it's hard to breathe. It's just, it feels like I'm not getting enough. You know, I have one friend in this game and they are a fallen empire. That's machine based like mine. Well, clearly you hacked the game there, Jeremy. <laughs> Glad to see you're streaming. Yeah, that's that was kind of the plan, Colby. If I if I didn't say anything about uh, postponing or anything like that, then you can pretty much uh, expect that to happen. Ooh, hey, so we can get uh, make preparations for salvaging the mineral bands, isolate and study the alien sounds. We can pick this because the scientist that studied the anomaly has the meticulous trait, which is pretty cool. It's always nice when um, event decisions are also. Uh, made available from the unique traits on your scientists. That's always nice. Uh, da, 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 da. There has been a shitty cold going around. Uh, that's what I heard. I mean, since like how far back was it? Like uh, December or something? What were they calling it? COVID-19? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think it's that though. I don't really leave the house. Um, very often, and I, and I stay the fuck away from people. And it's not just because of this whole "quote unquote" social distancing that it, that uh, has been recommended to everybody. That's like this isn't you know guidelines or anything like that to uh, help reduce the spread of a pandemic. That's just you know my natural lifestyle. I stay the fuck away from people. <laughs> it's uh, pretty easy. So everybody freaking, oh my god, this is this is painful. I don't know what to do because now I can't really. Interact with my friends and stuff, and you can't really, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can't really interact with other people and stuff and be friendly with them and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what are you whining about? I do this all day, every day. <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm playing on the lowest speed right now because I'm trying to get to grips with what I'm doing here. Looks like we're getting terrestrial sculpting to be able to terraform. We don't want to terraform this continental world because it's only size 14. These two worlds here are size 10 and 12 Our tropical world. Complete. People suck. I agree. Um, we've got a size 12 arctic world. <laughs> what do we have down here in Nordak? Size 14 alpine world. Um, Teriok is a size 10 arid world. These are really crappy worlds. Size 14 tomb world. A size 25 savanna world. That actually wouldn't be too bad. We could terraform that. Size 12 alpine world. Uh, what's here in Ifrippi? Two size 10 worlds. I don't I don't care what climate they are. Size 14, size 11. Karos has a size 16 tropical world. Not great, but eh, kind of middle of the road. Um, I could have sworn there was a size 19 world somewhere, or am I just on drugs? But uh, anyways, this one here, the size 25 Savannah World, that'd be a really good one to uh, get a star base over there so that we can start um, terraforming it. Why do I have two construction ships in the same system? I'm trolling. I'm on drugs. Let's move these guys over here. 
In fact, we'll just tell this guy to go ahead and build that star base. I'm going to move one of these star sh uh, construction ships from the one side of our empire to the other. Work home, maybe a store and a drive true is all people I would see before this crap. Now it's kids and old lady. That's it. I, I think I'm understanding what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I call my family fairly regularly, especially now because my grandmother's 95. She just turned 95 last year, so I've been keeping in regular contact with her ever since this whole pandemic thing came out. Um, just to, you know, check up on her, make sure, she's... make sure that she's doing okay. Yes, people suck. <laughs> this has been established. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not in a huge hurry to get more planets under our control because we got two more colonies coming online pretty shortly here, which is which is nice. How many more districts can we have? We can have six more districts. Do we have any t blockers right now? No, we do not. Uh, any unemployed pops? No, but we're going to have one coming online here. From emigration, minus 3.4. That's terrible. Why are so many of them emigrating? Meh. Whatever. Um... We only have 52, bop, pop, blah, 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 52 pops. Why is there so low stability? Let's see. Probably because housing, pops need housing, blah, blah, blah. Available amenities. Uh, probably because we're out of amenities and housing is becoming an issue too. So we could definitely use another hive district for some housing. But we're going to have to do something else for... Maintenance drones. Where do we get some maintenance drones from? Hmm. 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 Maintenance depot, that's right. What's the end goal with the Groots? Uh, I don't know. Probably hit the 200, 250 year mark or something like that. Let's see where we're sitting. Maybe 300 year mark. How much can you go over admin cap and still be okay, do you think? Um, honestly, I don't really know. I think it... Uh, I think you can honestly go like way over it and be okay, but I'll be completely 100% truthful here. I have no freaking clue where to go to check your admin cap. I've been looking because that question has come up a lot. And Oh, here it is. Empire Sprawl. Base 30 limited autonomy. Blah, 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 blah. Well, our Empire Sprawl is higher than our administrative capacity. We suffer the following penalties. Increased tech cost, increased tradition cost, increased campaign leader upkeep and leader cost. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. I think you can go pretty pretty dang high over it, honestly. You don't want to do it... You don't want to totally overclock it, but, I mean... You can get away with quite a bit. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Because I, I, always, I was looking at the Empire Sprawl earlier today when I was playing in a single-player game, actually. And I was like, where the hell do you actually check your admin cap? And it's in this damn thing. And I was reading the whole damn thing. And I was like, Empire Sprawl, blah, blah, blah. And these are the extra penalties, blah, blah, blah. I didn't notice that little blurb in the middle there, admin I cap. So, hey, I learned something. There we go. We've got a new colony. Beautiful. And what do we have going on here? Ooh, lots of immigration coming. Look at that pop growth speed. 9.73 per month. Holy shite. That's beautiful. And there's a few open jobs available. We've got uh, a Hunter Seeker drone spot, and we've got two maintenance drone spots as well. So let, we'll let those fill up. Once we can construct another building here on F3P Prime, then we're going to want to worry about uh, supplying some more jobs. Our special project is complete. Whew. We have found All right, so we have... We have found an anomaly. I just hit the A button accidentally and didn't really want to. Okay, so our Helix flight group. What were we doing with our star bases? We're gonna. Oh yeah, we don't have trade networks right we now. Have to the because because hive mind. Can we upgrade this? No, we don't have Starhold technology yet. That's pretty crazy. All right, I should probably upgrade some star uh, some outposts to star bases, though, so that we can uh, get some more defensive stations online. Uh, there should be... Where's this guy? Oh, yeah, he's flying to the other end. This guy needs to be building that. Why? Man. 
Oh yeah, because I had the game at the slowest speed. That's why these guys are taking so long. Ugh. Doi. Combat of Toasters. Thanks for coming black. King Glows. Good to see you. Musty Meat Hammer. Thanks for coming by, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Scientist. Gain trait. Gain the archaeologist trait. We have found an anomaly. We have found an anomaly. Have we now? Okay. He's getting there. Whew. I like this uh, plus 10% bonus research speed that we're getting. Did I? I can't remember what I did for the bonus uh, tech tradition cost. Does anybody recall? Ooh, applied quantum physics? Yes, please. And then we'll take the discovery tree. We'll finish that. Boom, plus 10% research speed. I like it. And now we can do... Um, I need to do another tier list for the ascension perks because we got a whole bunch of new ones. Let's find out if it can improve energy, improve energy production. I like that choice much better than the other one. The other one just, I believe, gives you like blue lasers or something. If I pick the improve energy production, it's like a 5% bonus to energy. Uh, yep, energy credits from jobs plus 5%. Beautiful. So um, I actually quite like mastery. Like mastery of nature was a pretty good ascension perk previously, but right now it's, I think it's better. Um, because when you unlock the decision, or sorry, when you use the decision on a planet, it permanently increases the number of districts that a planet can support by two. So say, for example, excuse me, uh, here, ooh, excuse me, oh my goodness, here on Grooty Central, where we are experiencing some Our deployment, let's get a generator updated. district up and running. Um, so the maximum districts right now is 20. Um, and I have four free district slots. It'll only be three once this gener generator district is done. Then I can only build three more districts in whatever combination of the four available districts. So um, by enacting the Mastery of Nature decision, the, the maximum districts is permanently increased to 22. So it's actually a pretty decent pick, especially if you're playing tall. Increasing those districts by two Allows you to build like two more city districts for a whole bunch of housing. If you're working like lots of specialists who are working in the uh, alloy foundries or at research labs or whatever, um, or if you want to have like uh, more miners or technicians or farmers or whatever, uh, permanently increasing the districts by two is um, pretty good. We got a new technology and I didn't even see what it was. Damn. Um, okay, vitality boosters. No, don't care about that. Image them for the archives. Asteroid impacts. Asteroid defense system. Uh, we need to solve that. Asteroid defense system finishes in 40 months. Ah, oh. gotta be kidding me. construction is complete. Ooh, what's this planet? It's a size 16 tropical world. Eh, not terrible. And then here in Ostyuk, build another star base. We only have 97 influence, and we need 100 to enact Our the um, mastery of nature. I think I'm a jigger. So let's go ahead and add another generator district here Technology as well. Conceived. We've kind of stabilized our energy all of a sudden, which is we nice. Not researching that anomaly. 1,200 days, no thank you. So let's enact mastery of nature. Now, that decision is permanently gone. It's never going to come back because we've enacted it. And now I go to rare planetary features, uh, maximum district still says 20. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it'll roll over in the new month. Do, 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 do. Enigmatic spacefarers. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Our construction is complete. Oh, yeah, it's got a. I forgot it's got to quote unquote construct it first. Duh. Moby, you dumb. Ugh. I am uh, small braining today. I kind of starting to get it. Yeah, it just takes time, man. I think everybody uh, is in the same boat. We have surveyed the system. We have surveyed the system. Hmm. Algol has some alloys. Okay, so there are construction ships in Tyriok and Ostyuk can go ahead and 
build those mining stations. Now, we need 5,000 energy credits to... Um, ooh, an abandoned gateway. Dope. We need 5,000 energy credits in order to do the thing. Uh, terraform. I was having a brain fart. Massive brain fart. <sighs> I might keep the stream a little short tonight, folks. I was actually just fine about an hour ago. It seems to get worse the more I sit in front of the TV, though. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> uh, what did you find in here? Area and brushers. But it good, very nice. Our construction when you have complete. completed all your traditions, you can spend Unity on Ambition Edicts for those that don't know. That's correct. So Unity Rush and maintaining uh, massive Unity output is actually useful now. Whereas uh, before, you know, you once you complete your traditions, you get all your Ascension perks, you can ditch your Unity buildings. But what this, what that also does is it actually makes the One Vision Ascension perk a lot more viable now, too, because you maintain that permanent plus 10% monthly unity, and it helps you enact those um, unity ambitions continuing into the late game. Any tips for inward perfection? New Empire, Xenophobe, Pacifist, Materialist with Technocracy. Um, no, I really don't have any tips, dude. Don't let your economy crash. Don't get wiped out. <laughs> I mean, you can, like I just said, you can actually take uh, the One Vision, um, what's it called? Our construction is Ascension perk to increase your unity output. Okay. What do we got? Carol's Prime. We have a couple farmer and technician jobs that are available. We have a technician job here on Groody Central available still too. Uh, we also have food processing facilities here. Definitely going to build more agriculture districts on Grudy Central. I think more farmers is the play here because we can build a lot of agriculture districts. Oops, not generator districts. Dealing agriculture districts. Pro tips with Moby. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> Pro tips. Uh, don't let your economy crash. Uh, don't die. Uh, don't attack a Leviathan with less than uh, 10k fleet power. <laughs> uh, don't uh, build a star base right next to a xenophobic fallen empire. They don't like that. <laughs> Hostile fleet detected. Um, there is actually... Um, you might know this already, Cyphus, but uh, there is actually a music track from the Apocalypse DLC titled Hostile Fleet Detected, and it's actually one of my favorite uh, things from the soundtrack. It's it's great. Um, along the lines of um, synthetic, synthetic God. Really, really good. We have found if you got time, go onto YouTube, give it a listen. It's about a four-minute track. Actually, it's like four minutes and two seconds. Whatever you do, leave the xenophobic fallen empire alone. Shit, you beat me to it. <laughs> the Ambition Scientific Revolution Edict is amazing. Um... Actually, I gotta admit, I haven't gotten that far yet. I get usually like 100, 150 years in, and I don't have all my traditions yet. So I don't get the edicts. Or the unity ambitions, I should say. Recruit the leader. Let's get a meticulous leader for this science ship. Beautiful. Go on automatic exploration. And then let's get another scientist. Oh, well, we might as well get one of these field manipulation experts for no reason. There you go. Robotic God is so good. I wish the song was longer. Eh. It can only be so long before it gets like super repetitive is the problem. I would know. <laughs> Alright, so to terraform into... What uh, is our starting world type again? Continental, right? Yeah, continental. So to terraform this into a continental world, we need 5,000 energy and it'll take 3,600 days, which I believe is 10 years. Research speed plus 20%, research alternatives plus one. So that really just helps you. By the time you get that, though, that's largely probably just helping you with your repeatables. Technology um, but you can be getting your repeatables pretty dang quickly. Unless, for whatever reason, you didn't really worry about your tech. And you went in, like, huge Unity Rush. And, um... Synaptic cluster skew. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. 
central. Um, we need another maintenance depot because we need more maintenance drone jobs because we are negative 11 amenities right now, and that's bad. That's why our stability is so low. That has put my research to 90%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay, what are we doing here now? We're still waiting for some jobs to fill up on this planet. Um, what can we add, though? We have found the um, Ooh, We'll do that. Hive Warren, blah, blah, blah. No, let's not worry about that. We have uh, found synaptic. Mm, 250 days, I'll do that. Do unity and society research. Synaptic nodes? Eh. Hmm. I don't know what to get here. Um... Yeah, let's get an alloy foundry. Can always use more alloys. Alloys are allies are major, 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 major important. Easily the mo number one most important um, Technology resource conceived. in the in the entire economy now is alloys. Oh, you're supposed to be exploring. What the hell? You're just sitting there doing nothing. Get going. God damn it, Bobby. In my game, I have a problem with having enough jobs. Feels like I'm putting out fires rather than building, so I'm not sure how to balance, I guess. I mean, the problem the problem that I've been experiencing where if you just build a whole bunch of buildings and districts so that there's jobs available is that they'll fill up the jobs that you don't really want, and then you're just further micromanaging the pops, uh, forcing them to go to the jobs you do want them to be manning. Uh, blah, 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 you know, all that good stuff. Hang on, I gotta build this stuff. Um... So I feel that it's better to... Oh, definitely want spawning pools. That's right. Spawning pools there, and then spawning pools here. And then on both of them, we can add... Uh, yeah, let's add a single hive district on both worlds as well. Man, this one can have a lot of city districts. Jesus. Interesting. Um... So yeah, having the jobs available, like while it's not, you know, terrible or bad in any way whatsoever, um, if you have all those jobs available, you need to really heavily micromanage which jobs those pops are going into. So you favorite certain jobs so that um, they, the workers redistribute themselves or the specialists, whatever, um, they redistribute themselves appropriately and like fill up the jobs that you're favoriting. But you can also like restrict how many people you want working in a certain job as well. Where it's like, you know, I really don't need to worry about amenities on this planet right now. Uh, because we're getting like plus 20 for whatever reason. So you reduce the amount of, you know, clerk jobs that you want people working. You know, drop those down and they start filling up those jobs that you made available. Um, so that, you know, they have something to work. Um, so let's see. Adopting all domination traditions will increase our monthly influence by one. But what else is there? Do we get the menial drone output increase by 5%? Yes, we do. That's always nice. Um, let's see. That's not a terrible pick. Uh, Supremacy is really good, though. Um, do, 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 ship up key for da, 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 da. Ship up key bill speed. Fleet command limit increased by plus 20 in Admiral level cap. Prosperity. Um, mining station output increased by 10%. Let's take a look see. This tradition tree. This doesn't look the same. Monthly energy credits increased by 5%. That's not too bad. Complex drone output increased by 5%. Okay, building upkeep and district upkeep reduced 10%. And build screen, okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking we'll do... I'm thinking we'll do prosperity. Uh, adopting all prosperity traditions will give our planets one synapse drone drop for 20 pops. Uh, that's actually not too bad. We're going to do that. Move your extra pops to a planet that has open jobs, or you could disable certain buildings to make those people move to jobs you want. That's also true. I mean, the best thing to do is move them. If you like, if you're running into unemployment problems on a planet, the best thing to do is move them to planets that you know have jobs. But like I said, if I don't want all these maintenance drones, which is you know really dumb, I just dropped the amount of available jobs there down to zero. But I can put it back up to six, which I'm going to do. But I can I can change that if I want to. However, we're having amenities problems on Grudy Central, so I need all the maintenance drones I can muster right now. Our construction is complete. 
Our construction is complete. Gruti Central has finished its maintenance depot. Good. Dimensional pocket. Hmm. We have surveyed the system. Oh my gosh. Applied quantum physics. Very good. Um, man, we got some pretty decent options here. Let's go with quantum energy states. I want to increase our energy output. I want to get some energy so that we can... Uh, here we go. Let's get into free science ship. Beautiful. I want to increase our... Um, let's take this guy. Whatever. Um, our energy so that I can start terraforming that uh, that planet up there. I could sell alloys because they're really good for that, but you know what? I'm actually going to sell we these smokes that we have because I'm not using them for anything right now. And then uh, once the next month rolls over, I'll sell 500 of our food. Ooh, we found living metal. Beautiful. Sell 500 food. Very good. We have a whole bunch of minerals. We can sell that. And that's about it. See, if I sold alloys, it's uh, one alloy gives us 2.8 energy credits right now, so we I could get the remaining thing that I need very quickly by selling you know, more than half of our current alloys. But I want to keep our alloys. Alloys are good. Alloys are love. Alloys are life. Our construction is complete. Found my pirate's haven. Beautiful. That's always awesome. Twenty-five percent stability. Beautiful. Deviancy from pops. Are there people that are unemployed? No. So it's just low amenities, I think. Eh, try and stop the machine. Let's scrap it for materials. Get back five hundred minerals that we just sold. Hmm. Bow the fluff. I get we mega engineering. Okay. I think that was English. I really should be building more star bases to kind of expand a little bit. Get some more of these territories. Ahead and do that. Let's build this uh, research station first. I don't have enough influence to build a whole crap load, though, is the problem. Alright, what did we get? Super solid materials, very good. Uh, asteroid fauna, alright. Um, living metal will be pretty dang nice, but let's get that uh, extra city district housing. This planet lacks enough housing for all of its pops. Really? Oh, it's doing a hive district right now. Okay. I did the spawning pools first. That's right. How the fluff I get mega engineering? Why are you asking? Are you complaining? Why are you complaining about getting mega engineering? <laughs> Everybody's migrating to Karo's Prime. Very interesting. Oh, now everybody's migrating to Grudy Prime. Look at that growth speed. 10.76. My goodness. It's pretty cray cray. I haven't unlocked yet. Well, how did you how did you get it last time? We have found hmm? an anomaly. Don't think it's changed. Do you remember? We have surveyed the system. Okay, they're seeing now that mastery of nature is done in the queue. Maximum districts is now 22 instead of just 20. For mega engineering, I assume you still need zero point power, the equivalent of fortresses, and that will increase the chances. Yeah, I got those. Do you have battleships? Technology conceived. Clustered synapses, okay. Um, hive nexus, yeah, let's do that. Do we have a weapon type fully ranked up? We have found an anomaly. I mean, Matt, you know you could just go on the Stellaris wiki and we just look there, the right? System. Considering that uh, console edition, well, the information you get we from PC edition system. is 
significantly more accurate to console edition now. Also, technological ascendancy increases the chances of rare techs, which Mega Engineering is. Uh, is it though? I don't remember it being rare previously. Have you researched enough? I'm going to ask the question that everybody forgets. Have you researched research enough technologies that are the level below it? Because you need a bunch. Shoot, we're losing energy again. So what do we get if we uh, do all these? Plus two max generator districts. Uh, unlocks hot springs. Ooh. Which gives us another generator district. This gives us another mining district. Dangerous wildlife will just give us an additional district altogether. Okay. We got a bunch on here still, too. Max generator districts, max agriculture districts. Terraforming candidate candidate discovered. That's all, folks. Dun 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 Alright, let's uh get an agriculture district first. Then we'll get another high district. Maybe. Well, why don't you look and find out? Can't keep forgetting about that. Like having like you gotta remember that getting mega engineering isn't just well, what the hell? I have all the prerequisites. Well, do you have all the required amount of technologies. It's not just a straight climb up the tech tree. Like in Civilization, you do have to get the correct um, complex technologies. People keep forgetting that. Uh, what's the science ship and Fulaz doing? Science ship Technology Fulaz. conceived. Uh, let's uh, come back and do that derelict cruiser. Come back and... Actually, you can't do that one, can you? Okay, come back and do that one then. We have found an anomaly. How soon are you ideally supposed to have a colony again? I remember yesterday you said you were going slowly. Honestly, you should be sending out your colony ship within five years. Uh, Hyperlane breach points. Beautiful. I'll take that. And I don't mean like you should have a colony online by that point, but you should at the very least start the colonization progress within the first five years. It's totally doable. Because um, it's 200 food, 200 consumer goods, and 200 alloys. And aside from like right at the very start of the game, you're not really using your alloys for uh, too, too much. Aside from just Starbase expansion. And they don't, they only require like 100 at that point. Your consumer goods will probably just be stockpiling. Um, because, you know, they're not really being used up by too much of anything. And um, what's the other one? food. I'm grabbing one in year six-ish. That's fine. That should be fine. I said I was going slow yesterday because I don't think I even sent out uh, our first colony ship until like, what, year 12 or some crap? Ooh, we have some unemployment. Not good. Let's get a generator district. So we're building our districts a lot faster thanks to a whole bunch of bonuses that we've got now. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> um, we have found an anomaly. I can't remember if it was some techs or if it was also because of certain traditions now, too. It might just be because of some traditions. No. Discovery won't do that. We're fleeing the hostile swarm, eh? Ooh, hey, it's the mining drones. The hive mine expansion capabilities in this new version is insane. Uh, yeah, they have crazy growth speed now, like crazy growth speed. I mean, they had great, they had pretty good growth speed previously because that was a flat bonus to playing as a hive mine, but now it's, whew, pretty insane. You know what I think we're gonna do? I don't know what we can do with that one. Uh, Yanari civilization encountered. Okay, let's do another generator district here. Erassian mining base. Ooh. Citadel is the new fortress. Yes, that's correct. 
A fully upgraded star base is called a citadel, and what that looks like is um, your first your basic star base gives you these two module slots and one building. The next one, which is a star hold, I believe. Um, yes, star hold will give you two more module slots and one more building. And then a star fortress gives you the last two module slots and the third building slot. And then a citadel gives you the fourth building slot. Um, citadels can actually be pretty dang powerful. Uh, especially if you build up a whole crap ton of defense platforms. And there's some buildings that you can construct around them that really improve um, their effectiveness in combat. Like the target uplink computer increases... Um, Increases weapon range by 50%. I mean, it says ship, but I think it applies to the star base as well. But you can also have, like, this, the disruption field generator, which reduces enemy shield hit points by 20%. And there's other ones, too. You could take... You could make, like, ridiculously strong citadels by having, like, the Eternal Vigilance Ascension perk, which increases star base damage, star base hull points, defense platform damage all by 25%, and you can build an additional five defense platforms on your star bases or citadels. And then there's also um, a building you can construct on those citadels that increases the maximum amount of defense platforms you can construct on them now, too. Staying, any good tips like must-haves in the start? Any society research that increases biological pop growth speed? Is Starbase the new planet? No. It's the new Frontier Outpost, pretty much. But it's it's a combination of the Frontier Outpost and the Spaceport, because it claims territory for you, and it's where you build your ships. Yeah, we can sell another 50 moats. Uh, I wonder where I'm getting these moats from. Is it from that job? Because there's that one planet that has the, um, yeah, it's right here. The moat harvesting traps. But is somebody working that? Oh, yeah, somebody's working it now. Cool. Sounds very grandiose. Eh. I don't know if grandiose is the word I'd use. Uh, translate alien mural. Eh, no, I don't want to. You're not the boss of me now. We flee the hostile swarm. Oh, really? More alien vessels? Oh, more mining drones. Okay. Beautiful. We have found that We're about a thousand energy away from being able to terraform that planet. Um, what do we got? Issue special project adrift. Huh. Okay, let's do it. Oh, shoot. There's a timer on it. That's not good. Our construction is complete. Um, oh, what does it take? It needs a construction ship. Of course it does. Um, where is the nearest construction ship? Over there in Rothir, of course. I might be able to get him there. Do 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 do. Research projects in Cypherus. Okay, so we got the Hive Nexus now. Uh, let's get the additional civic slot with Galactic Administration. Weather control systems, increased housing from city districts. Do like. Okay, star holds would be kind of nice. Um, but let's get destroyers. I'm going to build a citadel and choke point between myself and the materialist FE. That's ideally what you kind of want to do. Um, build, uh, like, your, your really heavily fortified star bases. You want them in systems like this one or this one, where any enemy ships coming towards your empire, if this was in your territory, they have to pass through them and engage those really powerful star bases. Like here in Rantamario, that'd be a great place for a uh, very defensive citadel. Same with here in Ovani. Of course, I can expand more, and there's other places I can put them to. Where's the decision UI? Cheese helmet. Give me a second here, buddy. I gotta open up the planets. So when you open up your planet, by default, you're looking at the surface tab, which is the second of the five available tabs. Hit left bumper. It takes you to summary, and you can see right over here, there's decisions. Because I'm a hive mind, I don't have as many decisions as a regular organic empire. There's a certain decision on your planets where it costs a thousand food to enact it, and it adds like 25% pop growth speed. It's crazy. Great on new colonies when you're really trying to build them up quickly. 
Also, Mass Effect Citadel. Ah, uh, yes, Reapers. We've dismissed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Prothorin. We have dismissed those claims. <laughs> Do you still have to building mining and research stations? Yes. Our construction is complete. All right, so we got the generator districts and I believe some extra housing on our planets. We need more amenities here, so I need to build a maintenance depot once we can. Once this pop has finished growing. On the shoulders of giants. Fun fact is the on the shoulders of giants phrase is actually one of the origins that is available from uh, version 2.6 or whatever federations we have so the was. Ooh, excuse me, big sneeze. Ooh, I just had another one. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Let's, uh... uh let's increase the speed that districts and buildings finish construction and reduce their cost by 10%. I like the sound of that one. Okay, where is our construction ship? Should be flying towards... Oh. Taking a sweet time. Okay. Thank you. I was just immediately thinking of them as edicts, and I saw a prompt for the decisions, and I was lost. Um, they are still technically like they're they're basically the new planetary edicts. Um, you still have your empire edicts, which are in the edicts uh, tab of the society screen, but these are empire wide. The decisions are now just the planet specific ones. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go on to Karos Prime. We can build a new structure here. We need a maintenance depot. And I think, can I do mastery of nature again? Yes, but we're still saving up those energy. Um, we have surveyed the system. Those energy credits. Need about another thousand still. Ugh. For the love of God, man, take a breath. We have surveyed the system. <laughs> I actually thought you were referring to me for a second. I was like, huh? Oh, right. Never mind. <laughs> um, let's upgrade this Hive Nexus. Take a look at this. We have a little bit of crime on our uh, home planet of Rooty Central. I'm not a fan. All of our maintenance drones are a lot of work. I need more amenities. Job space production. Hive Warren. Eh. This just increases housing as well. It's drone jobs plus three. Eh. We need the housing, do we? We have found an anomaly. Something that still increases amenities. Our construction is complete. Hunter seeker drones. Oh, all right, Sentinel Post. That's right. We have found an anomaly. I just have to build another goddamn maintenance depot. <laughs> we don't want to. I like that they changed the Molluscoid star bases. Uh, yeah, some of the star bases look different from the star ports and whatnot. Space ports, excuse me. Morden singing Scientist Solarian is the best comedian scene in the trilogy. Changed my mind. Um, Volus Biotic God. Hello. <laughs> you did play the games, right? <laughs> Especially when you're a renegade and he's like, I can attack them for you. And you're, and you're just like, okay, go for it. Charge! And he just runs in there and goes... Basically, does the equivalent of taps the Asari on her shoulder with a biotic blast. It's pretty comical. Adds the Starship Graveyard modifier to blah, 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 whatever that place Technology was. Technology conceived. Technology conceived. Hyperlane breach points. Very good. Okay. Uh, basic combat rules. Let's get the zero G laboratories. Increase the output from our research stations. I really need to... Uh, how much longer for that special project do we have? 500 days. Oof. Is our construction ship going to get there on time? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we should be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy here in Ostyuk. Build a outpost there because that's uh, some extra 
alloys. And then there's extra alloys down here. We'll grab those too. And where's that spot where there's moats? We had a... Oh, here they are. Groman. We'll grab those pretty shortly. Um, I did hear that the Mass Effect trilogy is being remade. Honestly, if that's the case, I hope it's redone and released as like a single game. We have found an anomaly. I'm running out of food. My pops are growing too goddamn fast. Grudy Central is where we are doing agriculture districts. So let's get a couple more of those. Hmm. Finally got Mega Engineering. Let me guess, you finished something like Giga Cannons or some crap, Technology didn't you? <laughs> I'm hoping it's just a flat upgrade, personally. No new gimmicks. I'd be okay with that. Like, drastically improve the... Um, Construction is complete. Excuse me. Drastically improve the graphics, and I'd be okay with just that. Um, but I do hope that um, there are actually um, mechanical improvements to the first Mass Effect as well. Not that I don't like its combat or anything like that. I, it's actually my favorite game, and I and its combat uh, tickles my fancy just fine. Um, Our special project but is. But I think it would just be. Uh, Ooh, let's get the plus 10% sub light speed. That'll be really nice. Um, I think that it could just be, you know, redone and, and be redone better. Oh, we can make a mining station to get some rare crystals we now. Beautiful. Do want. Combat upgrade for the first and graphics. Yes. Standardized patterns. No microtransactions. Shit. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> can you... <laughs> I just pictured uh, EA doing EA things to the first Mass Effect. Oh, look at this! You now have the grades. You ha now have the HM HMW SP SR Spectre Level Seven Spectre Sniper Rifle. Yeah, would you like to mod it? That'll be three dollars for a Spectre Modifications loot box. <laughs> oh man, I would be so pissed. Mass Effect UI and updated graphics all in one game. That would be great. Uh, the first game could also use, um, eh, let's do this. The first game could also use, uh, a better inventory system. Like, going in, going in and looking through your equipment is a pain in the ass. No if ands, or buts. Just keep EA out of it. Well, it's Mass Effect. EA owns it, pretty much. To hack this locker, please play 99 cents. What do you think the natural ending of Mass Effect? To me, wiping out all synthetics is the right ending, but I wish they didn't have to destroy the mass relays. Um, thanks to player feedback, we've monetized all stat upgrades. If you want to continue down the Renegade path and uh, increase your intimidation stat, you'll need to... You'll need to buy these 599 stat loot boxes, which give you 20 random stat upgrades. You could be playing an infiltrator and still get six points in assault rifles when you don't even have the assault rifle skill. Surprise mechanics! Woo! They're exciting! <laughs> Technology conceived. Uh, uh, let's do the uh, long-range mineral scanners. The reason why I'm upping the output of our uh, orbital stations right now is because... We're going to be building a bunch that are giving us things like alloys. Uh, we should be able to get the gases fairly shortly, but by improving the output from those orbital stations, we're going to be increasing the amount of things like rare crystals and moats that we're getting in space as well. Now, you get rewarded for being a dick and promoting yes, EA sir, culture. They, pe they penalize the paragons. Yes, sir, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and build all these mining stations and research stations. We are very, very close to being able to terraform that planet. Oh, 1,800 days? No, thank you. We have um, found an anomaly. As soon as the month rolls over, we can start terraforming Ostiuk. Ostiuk 3. Size 25 world. Do, 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 do. And it's going to be a continental world, yeah? Yeah. Continental world, there we go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, so he finished the whatever. Did we get a new military fleet or anything? Nope, didn't get anything. That sucks. Alright, we're running into problems on our planets. I gotta address those in just a second here. Um, okay, so this guy, you need to go there. And then the next star base over, build those, get me those moats. We have surveyed the system. Watch out for negative skill rolls. <laughs> Lose two skill points per negative skill roll. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that would be like Star Wars the Old, the old Republic. Great before free to play, then it went free to play, and you had to pay cash for everything, even if you had it after your sublapse. Really? My favorite Mass Effect was 2. Talking to all the party members after the missions was the best. It was the last well-written Mass Effect, we in my opinion. I think Mass Effect 3 was still very well-written. Just, like, dialogue-wise and all that stuff. Um, still very well done. I th honestly, I think the whole trilogy is fucking fantastic. Um, Andromeda was okay. I didn't mind it. It was a little too tropey in uh, certain conversations and stuff like that. Uh, a little too tropey with things here and there that I wasn't terribly fond of, but still enjoyed it. Um, oh, what the hell? Oh, that's a menial drone. Yeah, duh. We've got some unemployment here. We need some food. Let's do agriculture districts on both of these worlds. Um, my favorite is Mass Effect 1, hands down. 3 was fun primarily for if you romance Tally in the second and you can make squad mates uncomfortable, especially if you're smoothing her over mid-mission. <laughs> um, gas giant shit. Bring it up, whatever it is. Okay. Is this the guy that's running around doing different stuff? Yeah, well, we'll just uh, queue up that next research project. Sure. We have surveyed the system. Alright, unemployment. We can construct a new building. I'm a little short on minerals, though. Okay. Technology conceived. I'd like to build more ships, but yeah. Three was fun for the multiplayer. I agree, Cyphus. I played the ever-loving crap out of Mass Effect 3 multiplayer for two years straight. Considered one of the best players ever to play it. I mean, 3 was great until the ending. They rushed the ending, but still a good game. Um, I didn't really have too many problems with the ending to begin with. Um, but once the... Our construction is complete. We have surveyed the system. Um, once the... What the hell did they call that? Extended cut or some bullshit? Once that came out with the, uh, extra stuff in the ending, um, I was fine with it. There was closure, and it addressed your final decision. I, I was totally okay with it, honestly. Let's get a, uh, um, what do we want? What do we want? Synaptic nodes. Eh... Let's get a... Hmm. Let's get a hive worn. On both of these planets. There we go. I'm still playing Andromeda multiplayer. Um, I haven't jumped on it in a couple years. Yes. Largely because I moved on to other games. Um... But I wasn't even making videos of it not too long ago. Yes, they did rush the ending in 3. Sadly, the, multipla the multiplayer was good in Andromeda. Same as 3, really. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that Andromeda improved on and made better with its multiplayer than Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. I liked the much improved mobility. Um, when I went back and played Mass Effect 3 multiplayer not too long ago, like a few months, it felt really clunky, honestly. And the fact that they made the maps really well, working really well with all the new movement mechanics, as well as verticality, because you have those jetpacks, I thought it was really fluid and much faster paced and just really well done. Uh, let's get Afterburners. And compare, especially compared to playing Mass Effect 3. Um, Mass Effect 3's do everything button, the A button, eh, kind of a pain in the ass going back to it, but eh, it looks like I'm getting used to. We have surveyed a system. system. Beautiful. Can we get rid of some of these blockers now? Yeah, I think so. So this world, Our I don't know what I'm going to do on this world. It might just be a bit of a balance. Or I'll probably do up a whole bunch of mining districts and uh, try to um, 
make this a forge world where it's producing a lot of minerals, but also it has a lot of alloy foundries. Um, uh, ooh, a lucky find. Beautiful. Meany, meany, me. What to do? Right, we'll start with this one because it takes the longest. Zempec Prime. I think here on Zempec Prime, that's going to be a food world. So we'll do... Uh, we can get uh, this one that gives us more agriculture districts, because we've got four more agriculture districts that are blocked right now. We can make a lot there, and on Grudy Central. So we'll put a food processing plant on Zempec. We have a lot of farmer jobs available. Uh... Let's open the coffin and study the corpse. So we'll put a food processor down here, make a lot of uh, agrodrome jobs available, etc., etc. Technology conceived. Uh, let's get gene crops. And uh, I have enough. We can reform our government. What do we want? We can't do devouring swarm because that's no longer a thing. It was pretty cool when we could, though. <laughs> Um, let's take ascetic because apparently amenities are becoming a problem. So let's take that and have a look at our planets now. Amenities, 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 amenities. Now we're okay. Look at the stability on our planets now. Well, except for Carol's Prime. Well, okay, so why is the stability lower here? Is complete. Hmm, deviancy from pops scale from pop jobs. Hmm, strange. I'm ashamed to say I haven't played Andromeda at all. To me, Mass Effect ended with 3. I had all the closure I needed. Andromeda does not tie in with the other games whatsoever. You could actually assess it as its, as its own separate game. Um, in general, Andromeda is still a good game. It's not a terribly good Mass Effect game. Shrinking Star. Oh, hey. I think we are going to find the Stellar Devourer. Yep. Vessel under I paused the game, damn you. Um, hmm. Hmm. What to get next? Hmm. Let's do a research lab. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, Andromeda is like a completely separate game from the, the rest of Mass Effect. Um,. You can play it and assess it on its own, and if you like it, great. Um, it's largely just in the same universe, so a lot of the stuff will be familiar. Things like, you know, uh, technologies and special abilities, so like biotics and omni tools and solarians and asari and um, FTL drive and blah, blah, blah. Technology All that stuff will be familiar, conceived. and you can assess it as a completely different game. At least no one got hurt. Ah. Oh. So we lost our science ship that was in that system. Damn it. Now, why'd you have to go and get yourself killed, you bugger? All right, let's get star holds. When specializing planets, should you build all world unique buildings? Well, no, because if you're doing that... Uh, hang on. Let's take a look see here. If you do that, like... Mineral, purif mineral purification plants is a world unique building. Synaptic nodes is a world unique building. I'm trying to make this a more food <laughs> food world more than anything else, really. Uh, so I built the fruit pro processing plants, but I'm not. And I also have an energy grid because uh, there's going to be quite a few generator districts here as well. But I'm not going to go crazy and build the mineral processing plant as well because I'm not going to have a lot of mining jobs here. Like, you don't want to go nuts and do that. You still want things like spawning pools or whatever the organic one is. I think it's uh, cyto revitalization, revitalization center or whatever. Any of those buildings that do stuff like increase pop growth speed or robotic assembly plants. Just whatever increases the rate at which you get pops to fill in jobs or to be ready for jobs and stuff like that. You take those. And then you kind of prioritize like two or three or maybe four different things that you're getting on that planet. You still have to spread out everything that it's doing a little bit, you know? Like, almost all of the planets will be a little bit general purpose in their own way. But it's not going to be crazy. 
Zero tie-in. It mentions Reapers, what, once? Those Angara, though, that's a cool species. Uh, the Angara would... Yeah, the Angara were pretty cool. Uh, fun fact, I actually made a really long Technology. post making a big-ass joke about this, we but uh, the, the species Angara, there is also in a an old game that I played a lot that's actually very near and dear to me called Golden Sun on my Game Boy Advance. There's an entire continent on that world map called Angara. It's spelled the exact same in everything. And uh, I made a really long-ass post where I was making a joke post about uh, new multiplayer characters called the Angara Adept. And it was basically Golden Sun characters <laughs> with Golden Sun abilities, but um, repurposed to work in Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. It was the stupidest thing ever. It took me, like, all morning to come up with it. Just a giant waste of time, but whatever. It, it pissed a bunch of people off, so it was worth it. <laughs> Construction is complete. Do, 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 do. Let's build over here in Groman. Our construction is complete. Those moats. We have surveyed okay. the system. Maintenance depot's done. All right, very good. So this is going to be a bit of a mineral planet, I do believe I said. Yeah. So we're going to get the... Where is it? Mineral purifier... Mur mineral purification plants. Mur. There's actually one of these worlds that... Uh, what does this have? Planet modifiers, asteroid impacts, increased minerals from jobs, plus two max mining districts. But it doesn't really have a lot of mining districts to begin with. And I kind of want to make this a food world. Actually, this would be really good as a generator world, too, because it has a lot of generator districts. Damn. Decisions, decisions. Uh, what just ran out? The drone campaign thingy. Let's uh, reactivate that. So here's some edicts that you might be familiar with. Capacity overload, production targets, farming subsidies. Those used to be planet-specific edicts, but they are throughout your entire empire now. Which is pretty cool. So edicts and decisions are two very different things now. Just be aware of that. Whew. We've got like 5k alloys, and I don't really know what to do with it. Our construction is complete. We'll be upgrading a bunch of star holds as soon as we have that technology. Build those we mining stations, baby. System. Gene crops done. Very good. Do like. Um, let's see. Um, 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 Let's get vitality boosters. Increase our leader lifespans. If anyone is having issues with gaming, gaining fleet cap. Build star bases and put shipyards and anchor points. Naval capacity or fleet command limit? Like, which one are you talking about? Personally, I haven't bothered with the anchorages yet. Our construction is complete. But that's just me. Oh, man, we have a lot of available jobs on this planet. Well, not really a lot, but three. Let's see. 6.99 growth speed per month. Ugh, we still got crazy growth speed on our planets. That one's up to normal. That one's normal. So when we, when we see um, a big message here, whether it's a minus, a yellow minus number, or a green positive, it seems like that's only when there is extra growth or reduced growth due to immigration slash emigration, respectively. Fleet cap, the command is a whole nother mechanic. Uh, fleet command limit really isn't that much different. It operates the same as um, naval capacity. Hang on. Fleet manager. Um, so, here. Hang on a second. Add design to fleet. Let's just add the destroyer. An interesting plan. Blah, blah, blah. So if I actually put a whole bunch of destroyers in here, I can only put 10 because each t destroyer is two points worth of both naval capacity and fleet command limit. So they operate very much the same. So I can only add 10 more destroyers because my maximum command limit for this fleet is 30, and I already have 10 being used up by 10 corvettes. If I had battleships, I'd only be able to build three battleships because those are taking up uh, 18 naval capacity and fleet command limit. This game is a whole nother mechanic. Yep. I'm in the same boat as you, Moby, with amenities. Eh. 
I haven't really had a problem with amenities up until now. I think it's just because I'm not as familiar with uh, hive mines. Why is this an agro world? Okay. Uh, Zempek Prime, what were we doing here again? Let's build a generator district on both of these worlds. Get Our those rolling in. There we go. We now we have the small system. moats coming in. I like it. Alright, where is... I want to get some star bases down to this system here in Nordak where those gases are. Zoomner, there you are. Okay, you need to build a star base here, buddy. I just used up almost all my influence. Technology. I'm probably going to shut down a little early, so about another 20 minutes from now, and then I'll call it a night. Mineral cutting beams. Actually, cruisers would be stupid good right about now, too. Not that I'm really building any, but, you know. What are we doing on cohesion? 100% still. Hmm. We have found an anomaly. We have found an anomaly. Still got open jobs there. How about Gertie Central? Ooh, lots of open jobs on Gertie Central. So we can just let those pops grow and fill Our in these building spots if necessary. Our construction is Our construction complete. Is complete. Excuse me. Um, let's upgrade a couple spaceports. Or, um, star bases, excuse me. We're going to upgrade these two, make them into choke points. I'm going to make these star holds. Precious moon. Fantastic find. Okay, so Rudian star. We'll upgrade this one too and put more shipyards on it. And what's another one? We have a colony, like further this way, do we not? No, pretty much just Zempek. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade the one in Zempek and make that a shipyard as well. Sure, why not? Alright, Sir Dobbs, thanks for coming by tonight, buddy. Um, just about the one hour mark into tomorrow's video will be where you uh, left off. And it'll probably only be about 30 minutes after that point. I'm going to call it a little early tonight. Currently a fanatic materialist surrounded by five fanatic spiritualist empires. I'm their punching bag. Well, why'd you do that, Snap, Crackle, Glock? Jeez. Don't let them punch you. Just punch them first. You probably have better technologies. <laughs> the extra layers are definitely more interesting, but it also makes it much less intuitive to min-max. I agree 100%, but it's a learning process. There is definitely a way, which I think is good since that means playthroughs will vary more. Eh, yeah. Technology At least I think they'll vary concealed. more while people are learning. We have found an anomaly. Uh, let's move our star bases up a little bit on this. There we go. Actually, no, we'll move that down. Keep that down there. We so have military the fleets system. can be right under shipyards. Okay, new technologies. New technologies. Um... Battle simulators? Oh, hey, yeah, battle simulators. That's just like the Fleet Academy. So individual ships actually earn XP now, which is pretty cool. And they can uh, they can get better if they survive more battles and blah, 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 all that good stuff. So when you build a Fleet Academy, they start with a little bit of ex experience as soon as they're constructed. So it's just like the old Fleet Academies where it, if you uh, have a star base where it's one of your main shipyard locations, it's a good idea to build a fleet academy there. True, I'm sure we'll develop our favorite one or two strats like always. Absolutely. My favorite strategy died. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> what do we want here? I don't know. Let's do a food processing facility here, and then a Frippy Prime. Our construction is complete. Actually, we no, I'm not. I'm going to cancel that building. 
Get rid of that. Let's do a mineral. Mm, we already have a mineral purification plant there, so we're doing minerals there. Okay. Uh, minerals here would be pretty good because of the planetary bonus. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a mineral purification plant. All right, we got another tradition. We like he. Our uh, construction is going to put increased by five percent. We'll get that one first. Building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by ten percent. Very good. We womp womp. That does suck though. Indeed. We're going to try one planet when apocalypse releases. Why? <laughs> It's dead, dude. And if you're thinking that uh, if you're thinking that the life seated civic will, you know, still make it viable, uh, I hate Technology to break it to you, but it doesn't. Uh, Frippy Prime. You know what? Uh, Technology do another alloy foundry. Conceived. Technology conceived. Very good. Corvette hulls, approved structural integrity. Let's get anti-gravity engineering for increased city district housing. Or nexus district housing, whatever the hell it said. Fusion power, do want. No, no. Life seated. No, no, no. We have found an anomaly. Oops. I have a lot of food right now. I need to get rid of a bunch. So let's go to the market. And we sell 5,000. Boom. Done. Very good, very nice. Now we can use that to buy. Hmm, what can we buy? We already have a lot of minerals, but we can always buy more alloys. Buying alloys is always good. Let's get a bunch of alloys. Me likey. Alien drag racing. Vroom. Okay, planetary features. Nothing to clear there. All of those are cleared. Let's clear these dense jungles after that building. Our construction and then is this one has a bunch of crap that we can get rid of. Uh, this one... Yeah. Clear these max generator districts. There we go. We have surveyed, surveyed the system. We have surveyed the system. Crystal Codex, where is that? No, you are doing that. Then survey. You start paying a little bit more attention to the special projects that are popping up, I think. Okay, construction ship in Groman. You can go ahead and build this mining station, please and thank you. And the construction ship in... So... Go ahead and do that. Build that star base. What is this science Our ship doing? Construction is complete. Oh, he's salvaging the gas giant ship. Beautiful. Our special project is complete. Our special project is complete. Okay, so I'm going to build two more shipyards. Technology and this is also conceived. going to have battle simulators. Moo-hoo-ha-ha. -ha. I just got that technology. That was really good Our timing. Our special project is complete. Advanced food processing. Food processing centers, which increases food from farmers by an additional plus 25%. Requires moats to construct it and one moat per month to upkeep. Ooh. Stinky. I think we can get that, though. We have surveyed the system. Go ahead and build these research stations. And then where's this guy? Muskida. Hmm. Let's uh, get this guy over here and build these conceived. stations over here in the Frippy that I have ignored. Actually, he can... Uh, where's the other? This guy can go back over here, build those mining stations and research station. Whew, okay, improved reactor. Ooh, cold fusion power. But we want autonomous station protocols. So with all of your technologies spoken for, you actually get Our an additional 50% from both research and mining stations. Uh, but there's also, I believe, some traditions that increase each by 10% as well. Let's take a look see here. So discovery, research station output increased by 10% from the discovery traditions. And then which one is it? I can't remember. Maybe it's adopt. Yeah, it's adopting prosperity increases we mining station anomaly. output by 10%. So... 
60% additional output from your orbital stations. It's, it's really, really cool technology. And that's why it eventually does become very worth it just building stations everywhere that's providing resources. Because, like, the big ones, like I said, are these spots here. Like, this asteroid producing two rare crystals per month with a station around it at 60% additional output. It's now producing 3.2. Here's a good example. This mining station over here, bringing in moats. Should be bringing in 2.8. Yep, that sounds about right. We only have about a 40% bonus right now, so that's fine. All right, this construction ship and fuck, I need to go to Dujad. You can go ahead and build over there. Oops, anomaly. Let's take a look at that. How's our cohesion? Still 100%. And our admin cap. Uh, Empire Sprawl. Ooh, we're going quite a bit over. But the penalties... Eh. The penalties look severe, but it doesn't look like... I mean, it's probably because I have reduced cost of stuff, but eh. It's probably a good time to uh, kind of stop expanding at this point. Could use a new colony. Get this Ostia colony. 600 days, so less than two years, and we'll be able to go colonize that. I don't think we'll be able to do that before the end of uh, this stream, though, because I'll be shutting her down in about uh, 10 Our minutes. Alright, Zempex Station, you're all done. Um, you are going to be a shipyard, so let's get... Crew gestation chambers. Interesting way of putting it. And then one, two, three, four shipyards. Okay. So the nice thing is that it actually organizes your star bases a little bit. So star bases that have shipyards will move into this shipyards portion of the outliner. Whereas other star bases that don't have shipyards, they'll be under your star bases uh, area. And depending on what you give Our them, they will complete. actually be labeled different things like a trade hub or a bastion or whatever which is super cool um let's see what additional weapon batteries or hangar bays hangar bays are pretty dang good huh We have found an anomaly. Research. Our construction is complete. We'll go ahead. You know what? We'll just do a bunch of gun batteries. And then we can do a target uplink computer. As well as a disruption field generator. I like the sound of that. Gun batteries. And target uplink computer. And disruption field generator. Do likey. Technology, Technology gained. Ion thrusters. Coup. I actually passed that one a while ago. I didn't pick it. Our construction is complete. Ooh, what are you doing? Get out of there. Go ahead and uh, merge with the Helix Strike Force. Whew. All right, Carol's Prime. We've got uh, issues. Housing, not enough jobs, duly noted. Okay, and I believe this was going to be our Forge World, so let's build a couple mining districts. And just one more Hive District to add a bunch of housing. Plus eight housing now. Crazy. I love it. Once this first shipyard is done, we can construct the battle simulators in this building slot. We have surveyed the system. So unless something else pops up, that's what I'll be uh, hovering over. We have found an anomaly. We have surveyed the system. Dun, 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 dun. Three more days and there we go. Battle simulators. 
Very good. So now, Zempex Station is whoop, way up here in the shipyard section now. Whereas these two star bases are down here still. And they're constructing. Do, 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 do. Let's redesign our sh um, defense, sh defense platform, sh shall we? Uh, defense platform. Protector class. Uh, let's take it apart, whatever it is. Fusion reactor, radar system. Don't have combat computers yet, so that's fine. Uh, four small weapon slots. Eh. Let's do let's do medium station sections. I like that. Fast driver and a blue laser on each. Because reasons. Do 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 do. Now composite armor and deflectors a little bit on both. Save the current ship design. Now, how much does this thing cost? 260. Ooh. Uh, we can build a bunch still. Let's get one, two, three, four. Technology conceived. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then this one is also going to have one, two, three, four. There we go. Starting to build up our defenses at the choke points just a little bit. Ooh, we can get the Star Fortress now, too. Um, eh, cruisers would be great. Construction templates is also really good, though. Uh... Get those cruisers. Kind of need those online. Right, we got a couple uh, things we can do here. Conceived. Investigate those guys. Hey, we are finished terraforming. Beautiful. Research all those. Get those done and out of the way. All right, now yeah, let's queue up normal. colonization. Do we have enough food? Oh, we should have enough. Oh yeah. Dang, sun, planetary features, no, nothing special. Low gravity, reduced habitability, but also reduced building cost. There's a lot of districts on this planet. Oh, boy. I like the look of that. All right, what do we got? Do, 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 do. Wormhole stabilization. We can send a science ship to explore the wormholes. They'll discover its exit point, and uh, then we can fly ships through them. But I'll be honest, I would much rather have hyperspace slipstreams right now. Help our ships moving around from system to system. Our special project is complete. Our special project is complete. Ooh, crystalline entities. All right. Ten months for that? Eh, don't really care. We right have now. found an anomaly. We have found an anomaly. Uh, we have the Warren can be upgraded. Really? Expanded Warren. All right. We'll do that. Let's queue up another generator district. And then here on Zempec Prime, we'll do another, uh, do another agriculture district. And then Karo's Prime. What are we gonna build here? What are we gonna build here, little buddy? I'm doing determined exterminators run. I heard that they're really fun. <laughs> Machine empires are pretty goddamn powerful for starters, but. Uh, Supposedly the machine empires are also very fun. Our special project is complete. One there too. Let's upgrade this one. Establish a listening post and drone study. Very good. Alright, uh, let's see. Our construction is complete. Let's get another research lab. Cool. Our construction is complete. Right, very good. All right, let's build a outpost over there. There's a lot of minerals in that system. Dun, dun, dun. And um, that's actually going to be it. We've actually hit the hour and a half mark. And I'm going to call it an evening. Do these save Bastion yet? No, I don't think so. Not until we uh, concede them in the um, Our special project is outliner. Our Fascinating creatures. Hmm. 16 months, 17 months. Ugh, awful. 40 months again for this one. <laughs> Alright, I think I kind of need to... Uh, 
whatever being sent the artifact into space seems seem to have originated here. It would be prudent to investigate. Ah, uh, that's probably the soul system. Eh. Anyways, uh, that's actually going to be it for tonight. I'm calling it a little bit early because uh, I think I need to <laughs> hit the sack and get some sleep. Oof. Feeling a little weird. If I'm still feeling a little weird tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that could be uh, the signs of larger underlying problems. All right, well, we definitely need more influence, so we're going to take care of that. Matt Morals, thanks for coming again tonight, man. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the Discord. All right, let's save that stream game. And uh, that's going to be it. I wanted to extend a big thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing. <laughs> yeah, you should grab some shut-eye, thanks. <laughs> um, like I was saying, big thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing this live. I greatly appreciate it. Um, not my most... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Energetic this evening. Um... So it's all good. Remember, this is a learning process for all of us. Like, I'm still not uh, as efficient as I feel like I should be right now. Uh, especially compared to how efficient that, not just myself, but I think we all got um, in the previous version. So it's a learning process. It's a learning process for everybody. Just got to be a little patient. Uh, stick with it. And as I suggested, check out Black Sun Gaming. Check out A-Spec. Check out Riantium. Um who is also in the Discord channel. They're all going to be putting up videos just like me to help people uh, get to grips with this new version. So, big thank you to Cheese Helmet, Chromo, JB, Jeremy, Cyphus, Matt Morals, um, Sir Dobbs the Great, and who else was here? I'm forgetting somebody. Snap, Crackle, Glock, you came by for a bit. And Stang. And who else? Razor, you were here as well. Colby. So yeah, Elk, you were there as well. So thanks to all you guys for coming by and interacting with me in track. Greatly appreciate it. Those of you watching this, <laughs> the Matt has peaked in nod knowledge. Good night, Snap, Crackle, Glock. Take care. Uh, those of you watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content, subscribe to the channel. Dingle my dongle so that you are notified when I upload a new video. I will be uploading um, tips, strategies, and kind of tutorial videos helping... Um, Old players getting used to this new version, as well as new players who will be uh, just jumping into Stellaris Console Edition sometime down the road. Um, so there will be those kind of videos coming out um, throughout the rest of May and even well into June, and possibly into summer as well. So keep an eye out for those. Also check out the links in the description below my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. It would be great if more of you came by and I could interact with you while playing live. There's my Twitter feed as well, which is a great way to keep in touch with me. And I'll post important announcements, such as if I have to postpone or cancel a, a stream. And I also uh, post there when I go live. And lastly, there's the Discord channel that I mentioned. It's my own personal private Discord channel. I'll post a link to that in the description below. You can come be a part of it. Um, I've got a, over 100 members now, and pretty much all of them play Stellaris Console Edition on either Xbox or PS4, so you can come in and discuss with other players as well as set up multiplayer games. And um, if I remember to, I'll also put a link for the official Stellaris Discord channel. There is a ton of people in there already, uh, and it's only been live for like a few days, if, if at all, I think. So yeah, that's it for tonight. Thanks very much, everybody. And I will see you again tomorrow. If, if I'm top-notch tomorrow, then I will be streaming yet again. Obviously. Until then, take care.